Brother Gary Weissman, you want to open up a word of prayer, brother? Father God, Lord, we just thank you for another evening in your house, Lord. We thank you for all those who made the choice to be here tonight, Lord. And we pray for those that's not here, Lord. I ask you to just be with the sick, Lord. Touch all those that's not here, Lord. And I pray that you just be with our service, Lord. Just uh, bless the songs, the testimony, all the words of praise, Lord. And just uh, hide your enemy behind the cross as he brings forth the message tonight, Lord. And let us have ears to hear and a heart to absorb it into. Take it out into the battlefield, Lord. To help see souls saved for Christ. And again, we just we thank you for your many blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, Clark. <laughs> Paul will we'll get around the altar and pray for all these things down here. Almighty God, we love you. We pray that we can also follow the Lord and be on our behalf. These people are lost and under God, but let us save them. God, help us to be like our Jesus. Give us the Lord. 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 Give us to be said, Father, Lord God, we'll turn to you. We'll turn to our lives to you. We'll turn 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 to you
Somebody got another one? Five twenty-seven. Susie, we're gonna do it. We didn't get it come, so here we go. My wife didn't let me listen to us this morning. Wasn't there to listen to <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Amen. <clears throat> we get ready to go before the Lord prayer this evening. Has anybody got a special prayer request? My friend Margie, uh, second <coughs> died. She died this morning. She lost her battle with cancer, but you know she won the war, Dave. Okay. And, and Margie went home, but please pray for her daughter Penny and the rest of the kids. We just right, ask that you remember Lexi. She <coughs> feel well tonight. Also remember my daughter Samantha is going back to start back to school tomorrow. And college starts back up again another semester. Just ask that you keep your prayers lifted for her. Okay. Remember all these requests. Anyone else? Remember KP, he had to leave the service this morning was sick. And uh, needs a touch from the Lord. Okay, remember that request. Remember all the sick that's in the church. Anyone else? David, David, remember our family and kids fall off. Remember Dad. Okay, remember all these requests. Someone else? Always remember Johnny, but then you remember him. Don't remember Jack, you know, as we travel up and down the road. Keep going. Remember all these requests? Keep giving your prayers. Yes, about when we return. Remember that request. Someone else? Bless him, Lord. Remember that request. Anyone else? I remember her and his family this week. Yeah, remember that request. So we all got unspoken request about lifting hand. Let's all stand. 588. 588 fellowship. We'll get it around the altar for good evening. <coughs>
Anybody else got a prayer request before your heart? Thank you, Mr. Salvation and shall be flying to Las Vegas on Thursday, so I'm going to travel. Remember, I have a question. Anyone else? <coughs> Remember, man, Gary Everett's Tuesday when we were going to travel to Columbus. Problem. Anyone else? Ball hearts clear. Let's take these petitions. My daughter in law had a, a dentist appointment and there was a mass in her face, and they said it's a tumor, and let's pray that it's not cancer. They're right, request. There you go. Here, Lord, we come to you. Father, we come to you to see you. Lord, you've heard the question. Bishop, we have a lot of people that take the question. Somebody got testimony they want to share with us while we're getting ready? Dave, I'm glad I'm a Christian. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hey, what else? Mm -hmm. 10,000 reasons, Larry. You and Sloan get that right up there. <laughs> that right, Sloan?
maestro este
You tap in honey buns and you open up. <laughs> Help him, Lord. <laughs> Ten thousand reasons we're going to go back and do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten thousand reasons. That's right. We've been running this thing busy. Every day.
Who's going to be first? Song or testimony? Anyone? Well, stand out of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for saving my old soul. You know, I've probably done been dead gone to now if it wasn't for the Lord. Taking a hold of me. Didn't do anything to say around my TV last night, but I just happened to run across that movie uh, about the, what was the name of it? Uh, the Left Behind. And, uh, about the rapture. And, you know, of course, it's just a movie, but you know, I just pray God I ain't going to have to go through what, Amen. what this Amen. went through. Amen. Amen. Uh, that was something. I, just, I love the Lord and I love my church. Amen. God bless you, Gary. Amen. Somebody else? Got a song or testimony on your heart? Amen. Amen. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for just, just being my Savior. You know. Thank you for being my Jesus. Uh, thank you for the church, for all you guys, and all your prayers that you lift up. Pray for so many. He's a good God. Amen. God bless you, brother. Somebody else? I'm blessed when Charlie's here and I get to see him, you know. Uh, he's been through a lot this, this last week. He went first had that chemo and brain injury together and they went ahead and done it. And, you know, he, he pulled through there and he's sitting over there at night. Really the Amen. Amen. I love him tonight. You know, Gary, Gary and I uh, lost our boy 27 years ago today. And, you know, uh, it used to be I couldn't get through a day. When the day came, it was like I regretted it all week long. All I getting closer to that day, you know, that boy died. I lift my hand down. I thank my God that my boy never had to go through one thing of sorrow, no pain, no nothing. And he's with my Jesus. And I'll see him again someday. I love him tonight. I also praise God for my husband because of that. I don't know what I'd done if he hadn't come forth and been with me to serve the Lord. I just love him tonight. And I thank him for what he's done. Sir, Lord. And, and I'm thankful for what he's done with my kids as well. You know, I watched that movie last night. And the first thing I said is, i got to find my wedding rings. Because, you know, the people, wedding rings, play right number. And I called my daughter up. I said, if you need my rings, they're going to be laying around the house. Well, Mom, I'm going with you. I said, you better get you yourself straightened up or you ain't going. You know, but I just praise God for that opportunity that I know where I'm going, Dave. When that happens, Amen. I said, look here, Gary, we're going home, brother. I mean, I can't even imagine. You know, all those people that were standing there and lost their little children. I'm going to be with my son again someday. And I thank him for what he's done in my life. Amen. God bless you, sister. Somebody else? Got a song? David likes to say, I love the Lord. Glad he saved me. Glad he put a desire in my heart. Amen. Amen. You know, I thank you for everything you've done for me in life. And you've done a lot. You know, a lot of times we forget that kind of stuff. Amen. Through our day to day, whether it be work or whatever, but. I never want to be one that does that. You know, Amen. I just always want to be true and faithful to him and do what he would have me do. God bless you, brother. Somebody else? Brother David, I want to stand the Lord tonight. Thank you for what he's done in my life. You know, you look around, what is the world going? Maybe someday we might be able to, you know, just look around. There's no young and can bring these churches up. And we better praise him by the king and hope that word will keep us on. Amen. Somehow, some way to get to those things. Amen. I just want to thank you for what he's done in my life. God bless you, brother. Somebody else? A song? Test money? Hey, I want to stand and praise the Lord tonight. Thank you for watching over me, keeping me each and every day. You know, I thank God that he strengthens me and helps me to stand. You know, I, I couldn't make without God's help. You know, along the way, uh, you know, I gotta have the Word of God. I gotta have the Word of God. I gotta have uh, be fed. You know, I, I like physical food, no doubt. I do truly like physical food, but you know, I gotta have the spiritual food to feed me more. That's more important than the physical yeah. food. I I like the spiritual food, whether it's from the preacher or, or from the Word of God that I read or from something. You know, the Lord makes known, lets me know. And, you know, I thank God for His powerful Word. You know, as Brother Jamie is preaching on power this morning. You know, there's nothing more powerful than the Word of God. 
Yeah. I thank God, you know, that God uh, lets me see and understand, you know, what I read. Uh, I don't understand all things that I read. I don't do that. But, you know, He shows me a lot of things that, you know, I, I, without His help, I couldn't understand. But, you know, God makes things known to me. I know God's coming back soon. I'm waiting for the Savior. You know, uh, I, as I uh, wait upon the Lord, I've got to continue to carry on. I can't just stop, you know. Uh, yeah. Every day we've got to continue to carry on and, and live life. But, you know, uh, living life means a lot. It's not just uh, going out here and living life daily, you know, as uh, a lot of people live life. It's serving God, too. You know, that's the, the life that we have. You know, the important life is serving God and doing the things of God. I thank God this, this evening, you know, that I have His presence with me and in me. Praise God. He watches over me. Yeah. He guides me. Praise God. I thank God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Somebody else? I think I'll try to apply. Go ahead, Charlie. Bless you, Charlie. Uh, for some reason, uh, an old sermon of Andrew and Dr. Rogers come to mind, and I thought as he talked about on Acts chapter 1, that, you know, we're all in this warfare together. We're in yeah. army. Do we know what our marching orders are? Was his uh, question. Do we know what our marching orders are? And that's to make known Jesus to the world out there. Amen. Uh, of course, you know, Matthew is <coughs> go you up into all the world and baptize and teach in the name of Christ and the Holy Spirit. But I thought that message was a good one about uh, our marching order. Amen. Yeah. Come here. Okay. I think you've seen this song. What is it? Come on, we'll get the rest of my 32. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I love the corn. You. you know, I sat there thinking, I said, you know, most of my life I've tried to be, my dad, I tried to make you proud of me. You know, I was an ordinary fellow, kind of like he was, but I tried to be honest and, and true in what I did. And I said, when, I, when he gave me that name, I said, to me, that's the only thing he gave me was that name. And I tried, when they knew me, they knew my dad. And I said, this is how I feel with Christ. When I took his name, Amen. I tried my best Amen. that when they see me, they see Christ. Yes. I said, it's easy in church to talk to talk. But I said, I try my very best and I pray every day that I can walk out walk. And when they see me, they know that I'm a Christian and that I, I don't do the things I did and I don't talk the way I talk. But I would say, I love the Lord more than anything in my life. It's what Mormon said, is that too high for you? Yeah. Too high for you to see? Just start singing. Just start singing. It'd be high for me. That's why I'm just wanted to let you take over. Yes, we do. Nobody wants to read it. sing it. Let's drop it a little bit. Just a little bit. I ain't want money. When you find me, your entrance to that city of jasper walls and bright gold avenue, as you behold all its beauty and its splendor. No question. You 
will want to see your loved ones waiting there for you. And when you feel you've shared your story with the last one that wants to hear you tell just how you made it through. So much to do after you've been there ten thousand years, a million, maybe two. Look for me, for I will be there too. Look for me. Song, yeah. 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 Thank you for singing. I sat here was going to ask Susie to do it because that's the song that will sound in my opinion. I lay there. You have to write all these songs down. Just remember that. And you're around a while ago. I don't have the words to it. I didn't know you had the words. So may have testify. We'll sing one more. Get up here, Katie. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on, I know you know this one too. Everybody, come on, get up here. Don't be bashful. Just us. A woman in the Bible. Her last day almost gone. But God sent Elijah to make his word known. He said, Why don't you worry? For God sent me today. And before you even ask him,
Something else to think about is what if he comes tonight? Amen. Not tomorrow, what if he comes back tonight? Amen. Harold, you want to testify? Anybody else? <clears throat> Stand with me. Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13, continuing in the series on power this morning. That's where I started a sermon series on power. I preached on the word or letter P this morning. Tonight, uh, we'll look at the letter O. That should be the next one, wouldn't it? P-O. I think that's how you spell power. So just bear with us a few minutes here and let's read a few scriptures. And uh, uh, if you're wondering what it was about this morning, see Larry. He'll get you a copy of that back there. Uh, uh, by next Sunday for sure, and you can catch up on where we were at. Uh, Romans chapter 13, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto the higher, what's that word? Powers. Powers, For there is no power but of God. The the powers that are, are, what's that word? Ordained. Ordained of God. Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, for your grace, and I pray for a few minutes. God, hide us behind the cross tonight, Lord. Speak words of eternal life, uh, uh, life from these lips of clay, we pray. Just use us, Lord. We don't know nothing without you. God, we're looking to you, trusting you, God, in Jesus' name, and amen tonight. Amen. We, you may be seated. We want to first look at the word ordained. The word ordained tonight, amen, if we're going to have power in the life as a Christian, we need to be ordained. That word ordained means to be established. I want you to understand, David said this, when David had given, he served God, he said, for he hath brought me up out of the miry pits of the clay, 
He has set my feet on the rock. He has established my going. In other words, he, he has directed my path. He's put me in the right way to walk. Amen. The next part of that will mean to appoint. Amen. To appoint. Amen. It means to decree. It means to entrust. Amen. I don't know about you, but I feel today that everyone in this house tonight, I realize that in the house of God tonight, we have elders that are ordained. We have pastors and evangelists and, and deacons that we ordain or set aside or appoint in positions, amen, of authority. But I want you to understand something tonight. The gospel has been entrusted to every creature, amen, listen, that's named the name of Jesus tonight. Amen, listen, everyone that's been born again has been entrusted to carry the gospel. And I want you to understand something. Amen, listen, when the king had an urgent matter that would need attended to, he would call someone unto his side. He would ordain or, a, or decree or establish them as a herald and send them forth with a message. Do you realize today that God has given you and I a message today that we're to carry have the forth of this church, amen, to a lost and dying world, amen, that Jesus saved, amen, that he came born of a virgin, that he lived a perfect life, he died a substitutionary death, he arose from the grave on the third day, and he's standing now on the right hand of God the Father and making an intercession for you and I today. I don't know about you, honey, amen, but that lets me know, amen, that I've been a step in why the work of God. I'm not the only one in the house. Amen. We all have been ordained by God. I remember when I went before the ordination council. You go up to be licensed. And then a year later, you go up to be ordained. I went up before them the first time and they looked at me and said, what are you going to do if we decide not to ordain you? I said, I'm going to preach. I came back a year later after preaching for a year. I came back before the same ordaining council and I sat down before them. They meant this and they asked me the same question. If we look at you today and send you back to your home church, are you going to quit or what are you going to do? I said, let me tell you something. Whether you ordain me or not, God already has. And I will carry on the message of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, amen. Paul said, I come not to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in the demonstration and the power of the Holy Spirit of the living God. I'm telling you, church, amen. Listen, amen. Jesus or John said, There's a one among you whose a, a shoe latches I'm not worthy to loose. Amen. But he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. How I knew that God had called me to preach. There was a burning desire in my heart to tell the world amen, about the Word of God. Amen. amen. We've all been established. We've all been appointed. Again, I realize that within the church body there are those that have offices. Amen. And listen, everybody can't be the pastor. Amen. We'd all be in trouble. Everybody can't be the deacon. We'd all be in trouble. It takes us all, excuse me, amen, working together. But here's the thing about having power with God. The next verse that I want to look at, amen, listen, you'll find in 1 Samuel chapter 15. Let's just turn there and read it with me, if you will. 1 Samuel chapter 15. I don't want you just to uh, take my word for it. 1 Samuel chapter 15. When you're there, say amen. Amen. Come on, everybody else. When you're there, say amen. 1 Samuel chapter 15. Amen. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord is... And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as a great delight in the burnt offerings and sacrifice as in obeying the voice of the Lord. To obey is better than sacrifice and to the, than to hearken to the fat of rams. I tell you what's wrong with a lot of people today. And again, as I mentioned in the message this morning, we find the children of Israel in the same place. 
Amen. Listen, everywhere they went, they were disobedient uh, people before God. Amen. Listen, I want you to understand something. Amen. For you and I have power with God. Amen. We've got to be obedient to His Word. Amen. We cannot entangle ourselves. Amen. With the affairs of this life or the affairs of the world. Amen. Listen, we can't listen. Amen. Listen, to, uh, dance the world's jig if you'll have it. Uh, listen to their music. We can't handle their talk. Amen. We can't go to the places they go. Amen. Listen, I've heard people say, Preacher, it don't bother me to go in there. Honey, I'm telling you, amen, for me to walk in certain places, amen, listen, would condemn me. Amen. Be listen, that I'd be ashamed before I got through the door just knowing that I was going in there. Why is it? Because my Bible said to come out from among the world and be ye serpent. Thus saith the Lord today. Honey, you've got to understand something. If you want power with God, amen, that when you pray, amen, listen, that God hears and God answers. Remember Elijah? Elijah said, Lord, if I be a man of God, let a fire fall from heaven and devour this man and his men. Amen. Why did God answer that prayer? Because he was obedient to God. We well, had takes obedience. Yeah. I don't care how much sacrifice you do. Right, yeah. I don't care how much. Listen to me today. I realize, I mean, the Bible said if we will confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us all of our sin. But here's the thing. Amen. Before we go into that place, and I don't know why I come off on this. Amen, got off on this. Amen, but before we go into wherever it's at, amen, that you have a desire to go in, you've got to understand the Holy Spirit is telling you not to. Amen, the Bible said this, if a man sin willfully, knowing that it's wrong, there remaineth no more sacrifice for him. I'm telling you today, my friend, we've got to watch where we go. Amen, we've got to watch what we say. We've got to be obedient. Now thus saith the Lord of God, it's not not only, amen, this is about going places, brother, it's about loving somebody, amen, we can't be out here, amen, gossiping about our brothers and sisters, or about our neighbors, and we can't be out here coveting the things that belong to somebody else, we can't be bearing false witness, all the things the word of God tells us to not do, matter of fact, the Bible said, to him that not to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Amen. So if you're not telling people about Jesus, you're sinning. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. If you're not witnessing, if you're not telling the good things the Lord has done for you, Amen. honey, you're disobedient to God because that is our command. Amen. To tell the things that the Lord has done for you and I. There's a third part to that. Amen. Listen. Let me the word open. Turn with me to Revelation chapter 3. We're Revelation chapter 3. Last book of the Bible. Amen. A very familiar passage of Scripture in here to everybody. I probably started reading at verse 7. <clears throat> we always pray and we ask God for leaders and guidance. We pray and we ask God to go before us. Amen. And to open the door. I, that's what I pray when I go out on visitation. Amen. God, help me to be a blessing. If, I, if I'm going out witnessing to somebody, God, open the doors. I, my, that's my greatest prayer. God, open the doors you have me to go through. Give me the words you have me to say. Amen. Listen. Amen. Listen. And then give me, help me to be the light you have me to be. Oh, by the way, that word obey means to follow commands or guidance. That's a pretty simple definition. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is, that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, uh, but for thou hast a little strength. And has not has my has kept my word and has not denied my name. That word open means this. It means having no enclosing, amen, or a connecting barrier. Access, amen, on all sides, amen, to uh, permit passage. Amen. Or to expose a general to a general view. I want you to understand something, my friend. Amen. Listen, the world, amen, belongs to God, does it not? 
Can we agree upon that? There's no place in this earth that God is not. There's no place in this world that God doesn't own. I realize, amen, Donald Trump may be so many million dollars and may have so much property. Amen, listen, the fellow that owns Amazon may sell me the richest man in the world has $137 billion. Amen, listen, I don't know how much he owns, but I know this, when he dies, he'll leave it all behind. Why? Because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Amen, listen, amen, listen, remember when the children, or not the children, the apostles were there in the book of Acts. Amen. Listen, they called them together. Amen. They threatened them and they beat them. Amen. Listen, and when they called them back again the second time, they said, did we not command you not to preach or to teach in this man's name? And they said, whether well, it's better to obey you or to obey God, you judge. And you may have called them fellows to the side and said, fellows, listen, if this thing's not of God, it'll come to naught. If it's of God, you can't ain't stop it. Amen. Why is that preaching? Because God had opened the door. Amen. That the gospel might be preached into all the world. I have not found anywhere yet. Amen. Listen, that that door is closed. Preacher, when did that door get open? Amen. Listen, this morning I read out of Acts chapter 2. Amen. As there came a sound of a mighty rushing wind and the spirit or the power of God had descended in the boat upon them. As long as that spirit, amen, is here on this earth, that door will be open when the Spirit of God is raptured out of here with Christ's body. Amen. Listen, my friend, and it goes back to his former state as it was before Pentecost. The door to the Gentile world, in my opinion, honey, will be shut. Amen. Why? Because the door is open. The door is open. Here's the problem it's not that God shut men out. It's men that shut God out. Amen. Amen. Our calendars are too full. Amen. Our wants or our needs come before His. Amen. People are greedy. Don't give God what they should. Amen. I don't know why they are like that. Amen. I don't know who that's for. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, will a man rob God? I know we got some wonderful givers in this church. Amen. But somebody needs to hear it tonight. Come on. Will a man rob God? Have you robbed him? In tithes and in offerings today. I'm telling you, my friend. Amen. Listen. God said, try me and see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour a blessing out. There's not room enough for you to receive. Honey, I want you to understand something today. Amen. Listen. You can't out give God because God's got it all to give and if you give God your all amen he'll bless your all amen listen amen allow you to keep the majority of it today amen. things are open bless you, Lord. we need to get us one of them signs hang in the window leave it on all the time open we're open for business amen. whose business we're here on business of the king Amen. I'm telling you today, I ain't here. Listen, I know this is a free will Baptist church. Don't you get mad at me. I ain't here on business of the Free Will Baptist. I'm here on the business of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am proud. I, I, I like Free Will Baptist doctrine. Amen. But I'm here because Jesus is here. Brother Frank, I'm here because the Holy Spirit has reigned and has right away. But brother, when that goes, I'm gone. Come on, church. Amen. When we shut things down and don't allow God, somebody said we need to stand and allow the God to come into our uh, welcome Him into our service. Honey, if we wait to our service to welcome Come, God, in. We're hurting. Amen. We need to prepare our hearts at the house before we get here. It's wonderful to open the service up with prayer. It's wonderful to come around this altar and pray for all these names. Amen. But if we've not prepared our hearts to serve God before we get here, you might be too late. This is not a happenstance thing. It's got to be on purpose. That better be like me. Going hunting, taking no gun. Or me going hunting, taking my gun and taking no shells. Come on. Oh. <laughs> well, sometimes the dog don't come back. <laughs> Just a fact of life. But understand this. God's always here. Amen. This earth is full. Of, this is his house. We've set it aside. He meant his name is proclaimed over the top of the door. Come on now. 
Everywhere you look, I see Jesus in the songbooks. I see Jesus in the guitar. I see Jesus in the piano. I see Jesus in the mics. I see Jesus in the lights. I see Jesus in the pews. I see Jesus in the carpet. Amen. Why is that, preacher? Because it all belongs to Him. Come on. Open. Having no enclosing or connecting barrier. There's a commercial for one of the credit cards that says, what's holding you back? What's keeping you from moving forward as a Christian today? If greater is He that within you than He that is in the world, what's stopping us? What's stopping us from building this church? What's stopping us from starting a youth group back up? What's stopping us from having revival? What's stopping us from doing whatever we want to do in the name of Jesus Christ? Every door, there's an open door set before. The problem is, is when we come in, we allow that door to close. Amen. And when that door closes and we goes out, most time we don't think about or don't worry about or don't plan or don't work as a church. Oh, we work good together in here. What about out there? Where's our voices at? Where's our hands together? I know a lot of labored for years and years and years. I know that. Amen. But can I tell you this? I mean, you're still above ground. Uh oh. What does that mean? You go to work till the work's done. The sun ain't set to the yet. It might be sinking low on some of us, but it ain't set yet. That door is still open. Until our job is done, God will shut the door. That's fact. I realize, you know, unfortunately, everybody's not going to hear our message. Especially in today's society. They don't want to hear our message. You know, a lot of it is our fault. Because we haven't been obedient and practiced what we preached. I'm just being honest. I didn't say y'all, I said we. We haven't walked what we've taught. Lived what we said. Been the light, been the example. I realize a lot of it is just compromise on the world side. I'm not trying to get up, get, you know, blame all the things on us, but I'm telling you a lot of the light blame lies right here in this house. When people get their eyes off God. You know one thing I like about white paint? White paint is white paint. Now I understand this. Gary brought a chart up here that had 15 different colors of white paint on it. But the only thing he did was lay it up beside it to match what we had. We wasn't changing colors. You know why? Because this side may want one color and this side may want the other. If we change carpet, this side might want one color and this side. I've seen it happen. Amen. It's, not, it's, it's, it's about the church, the body of Jesus Christ. Because I'm telling you, we are His hands, His feet, His mouth, His eyes, His ears. I know His ears are open to our cries. Sometimes our ears need to be open to their cries. This world is hurting. Amen. They need a friend, Dave. And if we go to them with the attitude that we're holier than they are and we don't have time to listen to them, I realize, amen, that there are some people, as Bud Stewart would say, that you just need to give a good letting alone. There are some people that are like that. There's a lost world out there and the door's open for you and I to go. The command has been given there. The power, the authority is there for us to go. Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Girls, come get a song. We'll give an altar call if you've got something in your heart. Maybe you got an order against somebody. Maybe you got mad over my preaching tonight. Come take it up with God. Let, God. let me and God argue about it if you think I'm wrong. If you could come to me chapter and verse and show me how something I preached wrong, amen, I'll back up and apologize. But if you can't show me, amen, where I'm wrong in the Word of God, you're the one going to move up. Amen. amen. As we stand tonight.